My name's Adam Sewell. I'm an assistant scientist at uh, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, and I'm a volcanologist. In the case of Antarctica, one of the, the main reasons people go there to, to do earth science is that it's uh, kind of the, you can take the pulse of, of the earth there. It's a place that we know has sensitivity to global scale uh, climate change. And in, in our case, volcanoes provide a tool that allows us to investigate some questions about how stable or unstable the climate has been and the response of Antarctica has been in the past. We want to use the volcanoes there as a tool to probe how landscapes evolve through time. We're interested in that because Antarctica has, is a place that can be particularly sensitive to global scale climate change. How sensitive is not known and that's why we want to go down there and study this process on volcanoes. One of the tools that I'll use to do that is called a uh, ground-based LIDAR or terrestrial laser scanner. That's a device that uses a laser beam to create a high-resolution 3D map of the landform. So we can look at the characteristic uh, morphology or shape of a flow that's fully intact and then compare that to flows that are older and have broken down. It's like taking a uh, 3D picture. If you can imagine going outside and shooting a picture of your house, you would have a 2D representation of what your house looked like. With this uh, LiDAR system, you would take that snapshot, but you would be able to turn it in three dimensions and see the, uh, the, the shape of the corners of the house, the size of the bushes in front of it, the distance uh, or the length of the walkway up to your house, and even how high each step was. Uh, or the shape and size of each individual shingle on the, on the roof. The ground-based LiDAR is a relatively new technology and I've had the opportunity to use it uh, in volcanic terrains in Oregon in the Cascade uh, Volcanic Arc. And one thing that I've done that's really cool is to scan the inside of a lava tube uh, and you can see the lava tube in three dimensions. You can, when you spin it around, it looks kind of like an artery. You can see how high the lava has gotten up on the sides of the tube. You can see uh, dead trees that have fallen in skylights, and it's just a phenomenal uh, representation of, of that volcanic feature. No, I've never been to Antarctica before. That's, that's the easy answer. But I'm really excited about going because I know it's a, a beautiful place and uh, one that's exciting uh, as a place to visit, but also scientifically.